Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, so I've got something that's really excited about the Beauty of Jolson Rice Toner. They just came out with Glow Replenishing Rice Milk is what they call it. Uh, I ordered these both, uh, that and the mask, and the mask did not come. The mask is going to be here in two days. I was going to initially review both of them, but I'm just going to talk about the toner for today because I've got so many favorites of rice toners. Uh, I'm going to have to do like a versus of some of them because some of these are just wonderful. So anyway, okay, really quick, a total tangent that has nothing to do with any of this except for the fact that it's a brand that makes a toner. Uh, I read the on Reddit today, the Tier Tier brand, which makes this toner, which I almost now at this point am embarrassed to have reviewed um, and everyone can have their own opinion on it. Obviously, there's going to be different opinions, but I read this brand was giving away to their biggest, most famous influencers, Chanel and Hermes Birkin purses. Um, if you're familiar at all with Birkin or Hermes, it's probably how it's pronounced, not Hermes, Hermes, their Birkins, uh, a lot of them cost more than a house, uh, 300000 and up. So they're giving away products that are thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, uh, to influencers. So does that influence their review of the product? I mean, if you're getting a 300, I'm not, I don't know if it was a $300,000 purse. Maybe it was a $20,000 purse. If you're getting a $20,000, $30,000 purse from a brand, are you going to trash them and tell the truth if it's a bad product? I can't see how you could, couldn't. You know what I mean? If somebody pays me $200,000, am I going to say bad things about them? And then in the future, maybe not get the $200,000 purse or whatever crap they're giving away? Anyway, I just read that this morning and I was just totally disgusted and embarrassed to have anything to do with this brand at this point. Um, and I know it's totally unrelated to anything. So, I mean, obviously do your own take of it. Um, I don't know. Couldn't they just reduce the cost of their product 20% to everybody and save that $200,000 purse? I don't know. Whatever. I can just get fired up about stuff like that because I just don't know. Especially when, I mean, a lot of reviewers and whatever take products to review them for free and I still don't understand how that cannot somehow affect your review and psychological studies my background's in psychology as well I don't know how that can't and it's been proven that it does somehow subconsciously even if you think to your best ability that you're, it doesn't affect it it somehow does and you might not even be aware of it so anyway okay totally off the subject sorry I apologize I just had to get that on my chest and I'll be talking about more in the newsletter next week. So I apologize for missing yesterday's video. I was at a vet appointment with Ike, which ended up taking much, much, much longer. And I will uh, talk about more of that in the newsletter as well. He's hanging in there, but I've got some interesting x-rays and things to show you because I just found it very interesting. So, okay, on to the product. Three minutes in, I apologize. Okay, so this just came out. It's about $22, $23. Bucks. Uh, it's on Yes Style. It's on Amazon. It's on Beauty of Josephine's website. I was initially going to order from Beauty of Josephine's website, and then I realized the shipping was $15 unless you hit the maximum minimum, which I did not do, and I just mentally could not pay $15 for shipping. So it took a while to get here, but here it is. So, uh, okay, so it's a toner. It's got glycerin. Uh, it's got hydroethyl urea, uh, kaolin, which is an interesting pick for a uh, toner. Uh, it's also in the mask, which I expected to see in a mask, probably absorbs oil and things like that, but I didn't expect to see it in a toner. Uh, then we've got rice extract, licorice root, uh, and then a few other plants. We've got fig, cocoa, centella, ceramide, vitamin E. Um, okay, so I'm just going to give it a whirl. So I rinsed my face up this morning. I've got my little Shiseido prepared cotton pad. I'm going to give it a whirl. I shook it up really good. Let me give it one more shake. There we go. The bottle's decent sized. What is it? Let's say five ounces or so, 5.07 ounces. Okay, which is on par with most toners. So it's got a very liquidy texture to it. It's a little bit thinner than milk, I would say, but anyway, there we go. Okay, so I pull a bit on a cotton pad. Let me see how it feels. I have not, that I can recall, used a toner with kaolin in it, which is basically, kaolin is basically like clay which is very good for oil absorbing. That's why I like a lot of the masks. It's usually one of the first ingredients in uh, masks for oilier skin because it absorbs the oil so much. So um, it's interesting to see them call this like it's going to be hydrating and that includes something that really soaks up oil. But uh, what do I know? It's down the list. I mean, it's not in the first five ingredients or so. Uh, anyway, it feels very nice though. 
you know, it does soak up a little bit of oil, but it still leaves your skin feeling soft, which is nice. There we go. And this is sometimes why rinsing your face isn't the most efficient thing because there's still, you probably can't see it very well, there's still a little bit of dirt and grime that comes off even when you don't, when you just rinse your face off in the morning. But my skin's so dry, I just feel like, uh, yeah. Okay, it feels nice and soft. It doesn't feel like it soaked up anything. Or, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like it left it feeling dry or parched. There's a little bit on my hand. My hands are getting so dry. I ran out of my Skin Fix hand cream and I need to buy more because I tried to substitute but nothing is just as good as it. So there we go. So I would say this one's probably going to work best for oilier skin types, maybe sensitive, or for spring and summer. I mean, feels nice and soft. Let me talk about uh, the ingredients for different skin types. So let's see, for acne prone skin, it looks Pretty friendly, vitamin E, which is, eh, it's kind of in the middle there. Vitamin E is typically not terrible, but that's the only real ingredient of note for um, acne-prone skin. It's got some nice soothing ingredients in there, the panthenol, the licorice root, the centella. It's also got coptis japanicona root extract, which is a soothing antioxidant ingredient, which is wonderful. Um, cacao is in here, which is really nice for hydrating skin, also great antioxidant, so I can see this being a really nice um morning toner just to kind of rinse everything off soak up some oil for the morning and then include some good antioxidants to protect your skin i like seeing the ceramides i love rice in skincare oh there's lincoln he's being very patient hang on one second he's gotten very spoiled with his water although i will say i know somebody that only gives their dog bottled water Thank God we have not reached that point because I don't even drink bottled water, really, unless I'm somewhere where I can't get just a glass of regular water. And he's drinking. We also have some uh, cellulose in here, which gives things like a bulk to it. But overall, it feels really nice, and it's kind of soaking in, so it doesn't... At first, it felt a little tacky, but now it's soaked in, it doesn't feel tacky much. And uh, there it is on my hand. It's nice, soft, hydrated, but not greasy or shiny or super tacky, so uh, yeah, feels nice. I like it. I like the fact that we might get some brightening from the licorice root, which is also nice. Uh, the main first few ingredients are mostly just slip ingredients, which are, uh, that's typical to see. And then I guess the first main ingredient is the panthenol, which is nice, so um, yeah. So, so far, I like it. Maybe a few more brightening ingredients might have made it a little bit more exciting for me, other than just relying on the licorice, like if they would have thrown in some beta-glucan or not, but uh, I get it. So there we go. So overall, it's nice. I like it. It feels nice on my skin. I'll definitely continue to use it and give it a review. And then uh, one of these days, I've got to do a versus because there's so many nice rice toners out there. It's hard to pick from. So uh, although I will say... The one from I'm from, I've already repurchased twice. So that obviously says something right there. Uh, anyway, interesting from you guys. And when I get the mask, I'll let you guys know. Because that one looks interesting because it's got obviously the kale in again. Then it's got some honey, rice, licorice, more rice, more rice, more rice. So I'm excited for that. Uh, anyway, interesting in your comments and thoughts. I'm interested in hearing anybody's thoughts on this, this stuff. I mean, people disagree with me and that's absolutely great. I mean... Obviously, nobody thinks exactly the same. So if you disagree with me, I'm very interested in hearing uh, why. So, I mean, I wouldn't turn down a Birkin, but I mean, you know what? If I'm going to sell out, it's going to be for more than a purse. Maybe maybe a house. <laughs> anyway, I already have a house. I'm good. I'm happy here. So, uh, okay. Thanks so much. I will see you guys more tomorrow. Bye, guys.